What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com and the Press Telegram. It's Mike, and this high school volleyball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, perfect for your next team event. They don't get any bigger than this until the playoffs. We've got banners on the line. Long Beach Poly hosting Lakewood in a battle of the Moore League's two top teams with a championship in the balance. This is a healthy Lancers team with sophomore Brooklyn Shermer ready to go and looking good on that ankle. She was not so fresh last match and a phenomenal crowd for the title fight here in the Ron Palmer Pavilion. This crowd was into it all game long. A ton of fun as we get ready to get going here with the Lancers and the Jackrabbits. No surprise, Lakewood going to the big guns early. The sword of destiny, the sophomore destiny, Viliamu, putting it down early in the first set for the Lancers. And is Brooklyn in the house? Shermer making her impact felt early as Lakewood takes a 10-1 lead in the first set. Penny Tusa would answer for the Jackrabbits, one of her team high 19 kills right there. The Washington State commit doing everything she could for her team. But it was the Lancers in this first frame as the Brooklyn Bomber puts another one down and they're never afraid to go to Biliamo in the back row. She knows when to put the touch on it. And the Poly crowd a little bit stunned here as Viliamu wraps up the first set, 25 to 15. Lancers, as they make a huge statement, the Jackrabbits beat them in the first match these two teams played, but Lakewood saying, hey, we're healthy, we're ready to go now. Polly not 100% healthy. Sammy Ahong, gutty for Polly, clearly not 100% on her ankle, but she did play through it to the tune of 12 kills, as you see Niner putting it down on the outside there for the Jackrabbits. But the second set was much like the first, Lakewood opening up a huge lead. Kyla Waiters in transition, puts it down on the right side. And so I can't believe this girl is a sophomore. Brooklyn Shermer again, the velocity on that ball as she puts one down for the Lancers. So Polly down 24-16 as Francis Camendang, the libero, is gonna get this comeback going with a diving dig. Diving almost doesn't even describe it. Pai Yosia is going to serve this entire run for the Jackrabbits. Lakewood, a great play just to even get the ball back across the net. And then the sophomore middle blocker, Kalia Williams, with a big point for Polly. But it sort of felt like, as Williams kills them softly, it sort of felt like Polly just trying to get some momentum to go into the third set here. You don't think a team down 24-16 really has a shot to come back and make a match of it, make a game of it, I should say, as Tusa puts one down there. Student section loving it because Polly rips off six straight points and suddenly they are threatening. They force a Lakewood timeout. Yosia back on the back line for another jump serve and the bloodline aces it. Yosia, a huge point for the Jackrabbits and suddenly they're knotted up and she says, oh geez, did we really just do that at 24-24? Tusa and Williams on the block. Again, I mean, for me personally, I've seen, I think, a 24-18 comeback. I've never seen 24-16, so this is something else as Williams, the Terminator. Finally, you already nofo, nofo Kyle puts it down, and Polly, one of the most improbable sets I've ever seen in uh, eight years of covering volleyball, as the Jackrabbits come back from down 24-16 to win it. 28-26, they get a standing ovation from the Jackrabbit crowd as they even this thing out, but Lakewood pulling out the heavy hitters. Brooklyn Shermer, they went to her early and often. Setter Shelby Dobemeyer said, All right, we just got to set them when they're hot, and Shermer was ready to go. Kyle and Williams on the block. You see Williams rolls her ankle there, but she would stay in the match. Kind of grits through that. And if, for, if at first you don't succeed, too, with the stick to puts it down on the second attempt. But the bomber, too much. 19 kills in the match for Brooklyn Shermer to go with 14 digs. And Lakewood takes set three to go up 2-1. It was all Lakewood again in the fourth set. Viliamu, one of her 17 kills from outside. Williams, a very solid match, kills it straight down. She had 13. But Shermer certainly showed what a big difference she makes for this Lancers team. She is really the other half of their offense. She and Viliamu, when they both get going, this team could really beat just about anybody. And sure enough, 
Viliamo on the solo stuff, and Mom Made Pizza Rolls! Ain't no party like a Lakewood party, the Lancers doing it on the Jackrabbits floor. They beat Polly in four. Uh, beat Polly in four. That forces a first place tie in the Moore League. Both these teams have one loss to each other. They will both play Wilson next week. If they both get through it, they would be co-champions with a coin flip to decide who is the first seed for CIF, but a great rivalry series between Lakewood and Polly this year. We'd like to thank our newest sponsor, Long Beach Transit. Their route number one now stops at Cal State, Domingos Hills, the South Bay Pavilion, and the Stub Up Center. A uh, lot of volleyball to go this season, and it's been a great one already. Find out what happens. you got to keep it right here.